the way. The wolf is mine. Stand clear. I will catch it. The size of that beast. <laughs> A worthy I'll sharpen my axe with your teeth, beast. Do not fight the beast. Leave it to me.
saying? I've warned you well, and look where it has led! Avi, stop! Stay, your ex! Away, Loki. You swore an oath to never spill my blood. Step aside, and I won't have to. This is my blood. What? He is my son. Bastard! Tyr, you've cared for this wolf. You will be his jailer. Take it to Lingby. Find it there. Make sure it never leaves the island. I can speak with the dwarf Ivaldi. May he find a more permanent solution. Come, boy. You're safe with me. Be kind, Justice Pringle. Loki, there will be a reckoning. Of this, I have no doubt. Darkened like an ill omen. My impossible task grows more urgent.
Harvey, tell this rump cloud he can't just... I was only curious, Dwarf. I meant no offense. I'm merely a seeker of knowledge. The Dwarves give nothing away for free. Apologies for the distraction, Master Blacksmith. I'll leave you to your work. Well, what shall I craft for you today, High One? Bottomless breaches for soiling yourself on the battlefield? What were you and the Builder discussing? Harvey, my gentle jailer. You know we dwarves give nothing away for free. If you want your question answered, I'll need something in return. Such as? A hidden fact known only to you, Farseer. ...that I may share in your secret knowledge of the world. The sun and the moon are pulled by two horses across the day and night skies. Skinfaxir and Chemfaxir are their names. And each morning's dew is the fallen slopper from Chemfaxir's foaming mouth. Curious. Thank you, Harvey. So... You asked what that sack of sheep guts was after? He wanted to know how magic affected your hooger. Why would he want to know the effect of magic on my spirit? Not just you, Harvey. The lot of you. Aesir and Vanir alike. I told him to shovel his shit somewhere else. Now if that's all you came to know, you can piss off and let me work. I have one more need. Can you forge me an unbreakable chain? Chains are overrated. One weak link and it's worthless. Let me craft a cord that Thor himself could not break. It must be strong enough to bind a powerful beast. I will sluice my sweat into this cord, Harvey. All knowledge I have and skill I own will define it. And what will I get in return? Make good on your claim, and your contract is fulfilled. I smell bait. What's the trap? No trap, no trickery. Forge me this cord, and you shall be free of my service. Hmm. To craft such a cord, I'll need a few impossible ingredients. Name them. I the list there. I have a bear's tendon, a fish's breath, and a cat's footsteps. ...and the root of a mountain. How do I find these? How the fuck would I know? The riddles will guide you. I have no patience for riddles, Dwarf. Those riddles are as ancient as the world... ...with lore passed down from Nii and Nidi... ...to Northri and Sudri... ...Austri and Vestri... ...Althjover... I understand. I will return shortly. Valin, Bevor, Babur, Tvongur, Nori, See you, old friend.
aid me. Freya's statues. Who put you up here, little cat? So that's how it is. Lead the way, nimble. Survey the area sooner. to go. Have a look, Sunin.
my eyes, Zunin.
Just be careful now. I seek. There's no higher peak. This is the mountain I seek. There's no higher peak. Looks like the right place. I swear, dwarves would choose riddling over rutting. There is the seed in the mountain's rocky grip. Some heat may free it from its shell. He has made the base already? The builder works fast, a bit too fast. Zunin, guide me.
do you see?
coconut sprout root until I get it into some water. See what you can make of this, Ivaldi. How is he building that tower so quickly? There's more to this stranger than meets the eye. I know a cat's footfall when I hear one. I found everything you asked for. How soon can you finish this unbreakable cord? As soon as it wants to be made. You cannot rush this kind of magic. It flows with a speed all its own. Find me as soon as it's ready. By the way, after we spoke of the Hooger, a cousin came by with his own spirit tale. I don't trust coincidence. So this one's free. What did he say? He told me his sister's husband, Borin, drank a mead brewed in Jotunheim, and it sent his hooger into a goat. The spirit of a dwarf in the body of a goat? <laughs> Stranger still, his sister didn't even notice. Heavy! Don't drag me into this. The tower is nearly finished. Do not fret. The final hours are ticking down. Not fast enough. I feel the jaws of a trap closing upon me. Knowing you are in a trap is the first step to avoiding it. You don't care if I'm married off to this builder, do you? You are the queen of Asgard, the host of Folkvanger, the shepherd of the slain. Of course I care. Yet you act as if I'm some treasure to be traded about. I was wrong to use you like that. I will confront the Builder and pry the truth out of him. 
A limp apology. But it will suffice for now. Once the Builder is dealt with, turn your spear on Loki. Every chance he had, he dug us deeper into this mess. If Loki is up to something, I will see to it that he is punished. Blood Oath be damned. Not my best work, but it has a certain glow. Now then, where's my queen? You're finished. The tower is functional. One rune remains, which I shall inscribe after I am wet. Who helped you complete the work, Builder? You could not have managed so quickly on your own. Our agreement said nothing about outside help. Now, where is Frey? I tire of waiting. Outside help. Interesting choice of words. Hail, Harvey! Hail, Builder! We bring you your bride! Freya, my beloved! Why does she leer so wickedly? Once she saw this tower, a testament to your strength, she knew you to be a great man indeed. Enough chatter. We have upheld our end of the bargain. Will you finish your work? I'm sorry, but I've never seen such wild eyes. Why does she look so feral? Since hearing of your offer, she has not closed her eyes. She fears what she might miss in the abyss of comforting sleep. This is no dream, my love. 
It is all quite real. Speak and tell me you agree. Quit stalling and kiss her, Dungmeat! Consummate your betrothal! Yes, a kiss. A brief taste to whet my appetite. <clears throat> Delicious! Your lips are two <laughs> pillows on a bed of rain rose petals. And yours are cold and rough as unpolished stone. What trickery is this? There's something wrong. Her voice! It's hideous! I have been told it has a seductive quality. By a wolf. Treachery! Bring me the real fray, or my offer is withdrawn! I'll bring myself, if you don't mind. Freya, you don't need to... You have to... next to nothing, Esir. Only this useless monument to your ineptitude. Ah. Uh... You've been a good boy, Thor. Don't gamble your winnings. <clears throat> and you, Havi. You tried to avoid responsibility by not making a choice. But that was a choice in itself. And look where it has brought us. No one has done more for Asgard than me. Did I not carve this land from Ymir's steaming flesh and bones? Has this sad spectacle been for my sake alone? I've seen better drama on the festering carcass of a dead pig! Finish your work, or suffer. No Freya, no shield. To hell I am with him, Harvey. I know where he keeps his enchanted paint. Show me. Thor, Tyr, watch our guest closely. Freya, I hope we will have words when this is done. Why do you still wear Freya's form? A reminder of who's at stake. Change back. This is disturbing. Where do we go now? I don't know. I didn't say I was watching him every moment. So you do not know where he kept his supplies? They must be nearby. He never left this area. Mostly never. Stretch your wings, Sunan. We have found the worm's lair. Shapeshifters! More deception. The builder will suffer for this. Where there are guards, there are boots. There's a door for the ring. Help me smash it. Hold, Loki. We... What is it, Harvey? Loki, did you know this builder before we met him at Heimdall's tower? Did I know him? As in friends? Or know of him? Did you invite him here? I... I did, yes. He rescued my son from Jotunheim, so I agreed to bring him here and help him find work. That's all. Make this right, Loki, or the blood oath that binds me is forfeit. For you and your son, is that clear? As a cloudless sky, High One. More deer. Go ahead. I'll watch your back. That's cold comfort. A quiet crossing might be best. You need his blood. That will cost you. Oh! <laughs> 
bleed you. Stronger already. On your advice, find some way to hinder his efforts, or I will offer you as his price. I live to serve, Raven Feeder. You survived my trap. How disappointing. Invaders from Jotunheim. We slaughtered them all. Right. All knowing after the fact. I will finish the inscription. Builder, you stay with me. You others go. Elhas. For protection. Godless worm, slayer of my kin, oath breaker, spirit taker. I didn't build this tower to keep your enemies out. I built it to keep you in. You thought you could slay my people without punishment or prize? You and your slab had it, son. Their lives were the price of their arrogance.
objectives. Without punishment or price, you and your slab had its son. Their lives were the price of their arrogance. His head is exposed. How do we reach it? But you do not control them! Control them? I only wish to survive them. lives for the price of their arrogance. His head is exposed. How do we reach it?
price? You and your slab had it, son! Their lives were the price of their arrogance. But you do not control them. Control them? I only wish to survive them. Thor lends me strength. Their lives were the price of their arrogance. His head is exposed. Shot, shot, shot. 
nine worlds, but you do not control them. Control them? I only wish to survive them. Your time has passed. There's no turning back to Caesar's. If our doom is assured, I will ensure that you share it! Yotan dead? And his magic dies with him. Does that worry you, trickster? What are you implying? Were you behind this? You dishonorable truth tangler. What do you know of honor, Freya? You've bedded more men than all the halls in Midgard. You're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites. You fathered a wolf cub. I'll not hear a lecture from the Lord of Petty Rules, who stiffens at the thought of laying down the law. And before you threaten to brandish your hammer, Thor, remember, without it, you'd be no better than a troll. Only twice as stupid. Oh, you festering ball sack swollen with the foulest drippings of Emir's corpse. No oath is worth this abuse. But you won't break it, Harvey. You cannot. All your efforts to evade destiny will only fling you further along its course. If you're not careful, you may be the author of your own destruction. <laughs> Leave, Leave him. He will do little harm while his son remains captive. A mouthful of iron would put a stop to his babbling. What now, wise one? We have returned to the place from which we set out. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. There may be a solution in Jotunheim. Huga magic, they call it. I will travel there to see it for myself. Until I have the final binding, Lokistan must not leave that island. In time, it shall serve as a sanctuary for all wolves. I will watch over him, as one of my own kin. Then I'll leave the realm in your capable hands, my queen. If my own I empty when I return, 
I will accept destiny with both.
Welcome back. Your face is bright, and your eyes seem clearer. Tell me of everything you have seen. I have... Uh, I've been to Asgard, the seat of the gods. I saw through Odin's eyes, just as you said. In every vision, I inhabited his form, lived as he once lived. In his body, I was myself, but I was carried by his whims. His thoughts were as known to me as my own. We were two, but we existed as one. And what have you learned? More than learned. I felt, I felt everything. His fears and doubts, his loves and passions. Incredible. What else? I consorted with Loki, the trickster. We quarreled often, as siblings. But soon our fights grew dark. When he revealed he had sired a wolf cub, my rage was unbound. Because he had hid the truth from you? Yes, because he knew that wolves were not allowed in Asgard. He flaunted my command. Perhaps this was the purpose of your vision. To overcome an inner fear and find forgiveness in your heart. Maybe. But before my vision ended, I was seized by great purpose. I devised a plan, a voyage to Jotunheim. And then I awoke. Interesting. Was there anything else? I heard a prophecy. Warning of Ragnarok, the destruction of the world, the end of all time, and the Nordnir. They warned me of the great wolf Fenrir, and how he hungered for my blood. But there was something else. Hope. I was undaunted by the coming cataclysm. Perhaps this aspect of your vision inspires bravery. Truly, you are touched by the gods. Was there more? There was nothing more, nothing of great significance. The dream has faded. Eivor, your visions are unlike any I have encountered. Leave me now. I must think on what you have shared. You really think flighting can compare to sagas, to true poetry? Compare? Nice to see you. I want to see the Alliance map. So Chael Bet has traveled to Sherapshire, 
He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Sheolbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chilbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. I need your eyes, my friend. Surveying the area, Sudan.
look, Sunin. Stop a lamb! Come on! <laughs> Not half bad, boy. But be fierce, dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Deolav is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. Eva will toughen you up, but watch your back. He's a wily one. It is always the same with me, boy. When... <laughs> I'll be on my guard. As future Elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is a king, and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him? Met him? Fought him? He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me King Killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word, then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, hey, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your freening brother? Oh, my brother. We parted. His road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your way. Who's on your way to swear there? Show the ill and effort on Beery. Our Bishop Deolav and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Yet within his walls, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Deolav, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Captain Anil. Explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Deerlav. 
We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother. The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gas, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. My lord, this is Jailbelt, the future elderman of this shire and the son of King Jailwolf of Mercia. This green stripling? Elderman? You can piss without help, boy. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me, I do not know you well. But Jailbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. You are wasting time! You are Guriat, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am, and a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bored, you understand. I make no promises. I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Britain soldiers from Shropshire, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. Take the silver. Depose your brother, and you will rule with our support. His blood will gush at my first opportunity. I have spoken with everyone who matters. I should report what I know to Bishop Deola. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. Ivar! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would that quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I will think about it. You do that. Now you dangle silver before me. Are you so frightened of the Britons that you fight your battles with Welsh? Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? Rodri's brother will use the silver to take the crown himself, by force. He promised rebellion. Are you sure this was wise? 
Rodri, I see you mocking me. I challenge you. Single Ivar, combat, no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless tooth. And your brother. Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety. Go, quickly. Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! This we is a mistake. Ah! Eva! What have you done? Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Eva! Ah. You have scuppered the peace! Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah! A good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Chelbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord, stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! Guriad won't need the silver now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just let Bishop Dale up know that the battle is done. You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Wesbury, then. Once I've done some damage. Until then. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks.
Friend or foe? Friends, peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. In Rodri, we share a common enemy. My only wish is to destroy his supply line and bring him to the table, begging for a truce. Once we have peace, you and your kin will no longer walk this land in wretchedness. What you say is good sense. Very well, Dane. Here's what I know. The Britons move their goods through Duston Quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the Stone Quarry. And thank you.
Yes, Sunan. What have you got for me today? Ah, that one's pretty good.
Is that what you want? Red. I'm off. Until next we meet. Need something? Be my eye. I would like to see... Anything you find, bring it to me. Nothing else? May I see your store? Can't have too many. Made from only the finest materials. You should get that. Honestly. This looks practically made for you. This would suit you, I think. I think that would be a very good choice. 
You know you have use for this. I'll be sure to keep these in stock for you. I have to go. Until next time, Eivor. What have you got for me today? My pieces are good, but that one's very good. This will serve you well. You like the looks of that one? Done for now. I will see. Be well, my friend. Oh, 
I need you. Let me out. Oh, why they 
has to strengthen off yet. Shirupshire needs you. Hi. Yes. Now we're deep with a rat.
What do you see? Cast about this lad, my friend. They will attack Lokan outpost. If I take the cargo here, the Britons will be weakened in one piece. Beyond the Hermitai. 
Fiend. More valuable than cargo. I give you freedom. Now you give this shire your pike. I will.
Just where is my hood here? Go, Sudan. There's Ivar. Tail bat too. I uh, think so. A faint grassy odor? No. Ivar, tail bat. Hey, uh, Ivar. I was telling the Aetherlink here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. If we prevail here, Tailbat becomes Elderman. First a Netherling. Soon an elderman, one day the king. Oh, you are jumping rank, boy. I hope to begin my tenure in peace, Ivar. Let us finish this here, once and for all. Even talks like an elderman now. <laughs> oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Ah, I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. I want to go in quietly. No point bringing every armed Briton down on our heads. Am I to stand here drooling like a village idiot waiting for your success? Chelbat, listen to this old man's stories and wipe his drool for him. I am not a patient man, Eivor. Put these dogs down quietly, or I may just join you the way I did in Letterchester. We will stay behind and draw runes in the dirt. But do not take long. My blood is up. Are you not done? Have you stopped to nap? Enough! I will have blood! Ivar! God, Ivar, you are a rabbit hound. Leave me!
Did you see Chilbert fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory, and ask penance for taking lives. Oh, Chilbert, your god bores me to death! Have a laugh! We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The song of swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth! Is this enough blood paid, Ivar? We've spilled enough to slake the thirst of Femini. Why stop there? Chelbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Esbury has been destroyed. 
The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing! I need a moment of calm. You need mead. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or... fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. It's just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sport in it? There's no chance the fish will kill me. What's got your attention? <laughs> 